Hello guys and welcome back to another Thermal Mods video. In my previous video I talked about the fractionating steel and refined fluid or refined fuel uh, among other things and uh, I didn't really show a, a final setup for doing oil to refined fuel conversion and how to use it in efficient ways. Um, so I did some testing on my own and I posted some pictures and discussed this on Discord and I think I have a pretty good setup here. Perhaps not optimal if you know any improvements, feel free to leave a comment. But let's go through this one and I'll explain it and uh, then we'll talk about efficiency and uh, different ways to, to use to refine fuel in the end of the video. Alright, so we begin over here with input. We can directly throw in some crude oil here uh, or we can just dump oil, sand, shale or, or coal and stuff. Uh, we, we can do both because they are connected together up here and if we do it at the same time they will just, they will just wait for each other I guess. And on the back side we have all the item ducts. I have this water source in instead of using an aqueous accumulator. Uh, since we don't need any power for that one, it's uh, I, I consider this to be equal. And it's used for only for the compression dynamo and one steam dynamo. On the back side for item ducts we have the secondary outputs. We have sulfur and tar coming out on the back. We have coal and, and pulverized coal on the back. So items will be on the back as well as water. And then we have all fluids in the middle and then the, the power on the front. This is our power dump. Uh, in this energy cell we'll dump all the power from the right. And then we have automatic shutdown and then the left part is powering all the machines and this is the part that should power like the rest of the machine or the output to, to your main power storage or however you have it. So now it's turned off. Uh, this redstone relay is set to as a comparator. We have done this before in, uh, in the lava crucible setup. So when this is higher than 4, this will output the red, high, high redstone signal and then all these dynamos are set to enabled on low. So that means that if we are higher than 4, everything will shut down except for the steam dynamo. This will run, but this only runs on secondary products. And by setting this one, well, not at maximum, perhaps in the middle or slightly lower, I mean, th then you can disregard from this one. Uh, otherwise, this will run. Uh, well, you can connect that one, that one as well if you want to. It doesn't really matter. It's not a big part of the of the setup. So once you dump your stuff in here, uh, oily sand, shale, you can take one coal as an example. One coal ore. <laughs> it will be output and this filter will send it to this pulverizer and this will be pulverized into normal coal and sometimes you can get, let's see, pulverizer. Sometimes you get pulverized coal as well. It ends up here again, just as these coal will turn into pulverized coal and they will go back here into this main chest. And now they will be sent to this magma crucible. Hardened filter here for all these. Now we're making some, well, all right, liquefied coal. So the output here is the same as the output from the crude oil tank. And uh, there's not a problem because these filters are filtering on liquefied coal and this one. And these two are for crude oil. So if we take a crude oil bucket and just dump it in here. This servo will make sure that nothing ends up in this but the oil will end up in these. Alright and then we've got some naphtha 
uh, here and this will be turned into refined fuel yeah and there you can see it, it ends up in this tank on this side all of the fractionating stills are connected together because all will output naphtha and they are distributed equally or kind of equal to these secondary step re uh, fractionating stills and on the back side we get the secondary output from these let's see fractionating still and right so we'll take a look at crude oil and liquefactor coal they will both give tar as a secondary product as well as naphtha so the tar will be sent out and go way over here where we have a filter so this steam dynamo will just yeah it will just burn it transform it into steam and this will power generate some power and go back here all right so now we're getting from liquefied coal or crude oil we're getting naphtha and i think three is uh, well i haven't done a lot of testing on the perfect balance but three seems to be quite good because we can keep up with with the consumption of refined fuel in in these dynamos so three and then two over here uh, perhaps it can uh, make it perfect more perfect but uh, this is uh, well, it's quite good at least and then on this side let's turn it on we can change the threshold to five and then these will start to run and you can see fuel water and i have a boiler conversion augment so this will turn it the water into steam and then of course here steam dynamos with turbine conversion also some fuel catalyzers to make more out of the fuel and by the way all of these fractionating steels have reflux column all of these except yep basically yeah all of these so that will give you more output increased conversion efficiency for fossil fuels so this is only valid for this setup you know that the fractioning still have other like turning tree oil into resin and and uh, or the the opposite the reflux column will not work because it only works with naphtha refined fuel oil and and things yeah those things okay so we're turning our material into refined fuel and then into steam and as you can see i've separated them because the output from these dynamos will be 240 millibuckets and these will run at 240 as well so they are a perfect match and that will work just fine are they yeah it's full again so now everything is turned off again perfect so yeah that's pretty much it for this setup so if we just change this up to 10 and we dump some some oil sand you can see for yourself and we have coal like that we have bitumen we can also put tar in here i think so all of that is running I actually can't put tar it's not connected if you connect that one over here it will output the tar as well but i won't do that now and now we can see these are running we're making things they end up here they are running and the output on the back here we got some tar going this way and the sulfur is going that way if I didn't mention it, the sulfur is from the naphtha to refined fuel. That can be used in other crafting recipes, but not as a power generation source in this setup. And here you can have a quite large buffer. This one is 500 buckets. Uh, that's pretty much. You can, of course, put a few of them on top of each other, perhaps three. 
out input from the left and then output from yeah pretty simple here you can see we're getting lots of energy from tar as well or perhaps not lots uh, one tar is like 8000 rf if you just burn it but we have some catalyzer so it will be a bit higher okay so now the question why did i use the boiler instead of ignition plugs because the ignition plugs will greatly increase power generation and efficiency when working with refined fuel and here we're just making steam well of course i've tried it and i've tested and i compared so here i have a few setups the first one being ignition plugs and catalyzers it's a very simple setup, you just need water. Uh, you can of course use cryotherm instead, but that will like only if you have plenty of it because it will use up it quite quickly. And unless you have a mob farm for farming for this, it's not really recommended, but of course this will give you 3.5 million. And that's the most you can get out of refined fuel, I think. But running it with water will still give you a decent amount, 2.92, so slightly lower than 3 million. By the way, this will run faster. For 8 RF per tick, when using the plugs, and if you're not using the plugs um, like I'm doing here, here I'm just using a closed loop cooling instead to preserve the cryotherm. It will only run in 120. And you will only get 2.8 out of it. Uh, it's still running, but yeah, you will get 2.8 roughly. Instead, perhaps use steam instead. Uh, I tried with two dynamos and one, and one is perfectly fine because it matches up. Here we got 3.1, and then I'm using boiler and three catalyzers. Exactly as I had in this one, ignition plugs and catalyzers and you get slightly more you get 3.1 instead of 2.9 so it will last for slightly longer and it will output 480 rf per tick so it's just as fast in terms of power but it will last longer okay i think that pretty much explains everything about this setup if you have any questions or comments you know where to leave them if you have improvement ideas feel free to drop them as well i hope i see you in the next one take care and bye, -bye.